The Lord laid on my heart that we should discuss with our listeners that we should build our Holy Ghost load. Mm. Build our Holy Ghost load. Now, when this pandemic broke forth, uh, we've been hearing one term after the other um, from World Health Organization, and it seems they have been giving direction to nations as to how to deal with the virus. You see, every day and how the every day and the new things they discover about this virus mm. and how 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 they inform the the uh, the uh, nations as to what exactly to do mm. listening to world health organization you realize that they have brought up several um, what do you call it cautions several precautions and all that some of the things they've been saying is that as um, a career of the virus you may not necessarily be able to transmit the virus to another person unless you have built your viral load. So if your viral load has been increased or is increased, then you can transmit from one person to the other. So um, one of the days I was doing a reading around this thing and the, the Lord uh, directed me to read Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Can you please read, read that scripture for us? Please? Acts chapter 1 verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. Yeah. So you'll be wondering, how, what does this act got to do with building your uh, Holy Ghost load? And you, you, you see, he said, you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and something will happen. You will be witnesses unto me. You'll be witnesses from Jerusalem, Samaria, unto the uttermost part of the earth. In, in March this year, uh, uh, we, we got the first case of coronavirus in our country. Within a spirit of a few uh, uh, months down the line, we are about 24,000 thereabout. It tells you that one person who got the virus, who got the virus and came to our shores, who had enough viral load to share among others believers we have to also build our holy ghost load because the holy ghost or the lord had told us that we will be witnesses of him not only in jerusalem not only in samaria but we will spread to the uttermost part of the earth this virus started in china and it has spread almost to all countries on this earth it tells us that the holy spirit who is also resident in us does not want to be resident in us alone he wants to be transmitted to other people he wants to be transmitted to other people but the fact is that the fact that you were a Christian doesn't mean that you have built your Holy Ghost load to a point that you can transmit him from one person to the other person unless we build our Holy Ghost load unless we build our Holy Ghost load it tells us if we are not making the necessary impact with the way this virus we few months have, uh, 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 from December 2019 till now and it, it has spread almost throughout the countries of the earth it tells us that in respect to the Holy Spirit we have not yet built our Holy Ghost load so that we will affect the others we are in a community that we we have thieves we have we have fornicators we have uh, 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 all sorts of people living with us. We are in a church where we have all sorts of sinners who come around and they are not transformed. I know a man like John Wesley, who, who uh, 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 um, God's generals tells us about him. And the, what, what we hear about him is that there was a day he traveled and came to one city. After Years after he has left the city, um, one person came there and was looking for alcohol to buy. At the point when he got there, they said that, oh, have you not heard that John Wesley came to this point? He came to this town. The man has had built his Holy Ghost Lord to the point that he could move in a city and the whole city will not even drink alcohol again. We have churches that nearby, there are, there are uh, um, what, what do you call it, uh, blue kiosks opposite. We have churches now which has blue kiosks just opposite and people go and drink and they will pass by the church and go and they are not transformed what is the basis of these things happening it tells us simply that as a church as individuals we have not built our holy ghost load 
we have not built our Holy Ghost. It is not that the Holy Spirit is not in us. No, because on the day of salvation, the Holy Ghost became a seal upon us. But it is not enough. The Holy Ghost comes to live in us, but it is not in us. He also comes upon us for ministry. He comes upon us to affect other people. And beloved, if you are a believer and you are not affecting others, if you are a believer and you are not evangelizing unto others, the only thing that we can tell you is that you have not built your holy ghost lord you have not built your holy ghost lord in act chapter 9 we have a man who who uh, uh, a man named paul he was actually uh, uh, an unbeliever and he moved and he was uh, beating and persecuting christians and all that in that scripture in, in act chapter 9 he was moving one one day he had obtained letters to go and persecute the church on his way on his way he met the lord jesus he made the Lord, and there is a striking statement, I think, in um, verse 17, Acts 9 17. And Ananias went with, wait, can you read that, that portion? Verse 17. And Ananias went to the house and entered it, hmm. placing his hands on Saul. He hmm. said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus, who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here, has sent me so that you may see again and be filled with the holy spirit and that he will be filled with the holy spirit that was the game changer mm. that was the game changer for paul that the lord jesus who has sent ananias will come and lay hands upon him and first he will recover his sight because at the sight of jesus the man went blind and he said that he will be filled with the holy ghost read the verse 18 for us immediately something like scales fell off Saul's eyes mm. and he could see again mm. he got up and mm. was baptized he was baptized now move to uh, move to verse 20 verse 20 yes, at please. once mm. he began to preach in the synagogues that jesus is the son of god hallelujah, hallelujah. the man had built his holy ghost load and at once he moved into the synagogues and he was preaching his preaching was one that jesus christ is lord that Jesus Christ is Lord. But now, it tells us that in these times, we have neglected the Holy Ghost in building our church. And as a result, we have these minimal results that we are seeing. We are not having the maximum impact that one virus, that one virus has been able to do or, or make around the world in just a short period of time. I therefore think that there are a lot of asymptomatic Christians around. Mm. In, 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 in with the World Health Organization, one of the things they've been saying is that somebody can be carrying the, the virus and will not be showing any signs and symptoms. A lot of Christians are carrying the Holy Ghost and not showing any signs and symptoms of the Holy Ghost. We are not. We are not. We are, we are okay. We, are, we, we pass by, by people we, we, we consider sinners and we pass by them and we are comfortable. We are comfortable. We are fine. We pass by the blind. We pass by the lepers. We pa pass by. You go to the hospitals and, and, and we are passing by the sick. And we are comfortable. Because we have not built our Holy Ghost Lord. In fact, if you are called upon to pray for, for a sick person, you, you, you will not be able to. Some of us will, be, will hesitate. Why? Because you have not built your Holy Ghost Lord. We haven't built our Holy Ghost Lord to the point that we can impact people. We can pray for people. We have not done that. There was a man in the former times called Charles Finney. Charles Finney. It is said about Charles Finney that he entered a, 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 a company. It was more like a company, an in industrial area. He entered that place. And as he entered the place, what happened? He didn't preach one word. He didn't say one word. The people looked at him and they could tell they were sinners. People looked at him and they could tell that they were sinners. And, and that day, the, 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 the people who had, who had uh, uh, um, told their wives, they had told their fathers, they have told their mothers that they were going to work, all of them stood still in the, in the company, in the industry, and they started praising God, some kneeling and begging God for, for forgiveness. These days, we, we preach and make references to all the, those who have, who were the former people, what about today? What is wrong? Is it not the same Holy Spirit that received, they received, that we have, that we claim we have? A man called Archbishop Dan Bethany Daosa, that we, we, we so much, uh, are, we are proud about, we are proud of, and we mention him, but he is dead and gone. 
He is dead and gone. Let's read Acts chapter 6, verse 3 to 8. Acts chapter 6, verse 3 to 8. Brothers, choose seven men from among you who are known to be full of the spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them. What responsibility, Brishman, were they talking about? The responsibility of sharing food. So for the believers, even when you had to share food, there was one criteria they were looking for. You should be full of the Holy Ghost. Mm. You should be full of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Full of the Holy Ghost. Mm. In order to share food. Mm. Today in church, we are looking at your, how, 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 which car is he driving? We are looking at how, 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 his harvest contributions. Oh, we are look, look at the things we, are, we, we look out for. We look at the things we look out for. But these people to sell food. 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 Uh, uh, somebody said dining, dining hall prefect. To sell food. They were looking for a man uh, or people who were full of the Holy Ghost and full of faith. Read on and let's see what happened. We will turn this responsibility over to them mm. and we'll give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. No, we will not come and share food and all that. We will give attention to prayer and the word. But for those who will share food, let them be full of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Because even, even in sharing food, they know they know that food is one area that can cause the collapse of the church. They will share food and, and one singer will get one, the other singer will get a small meat and that alone can bring a division in the church. So it takes the Holy Ghost to, be, to fill a man in order to share food. And we, we are giving uh, a, a sensitive positions to people who don't even know that there is a Holy Ghost. This proposal pleased the whole group. Mm. They chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit. A man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit. They chose other believers. Also Philip, mm. Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Paminas, and Nicholas from Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these men to the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. So the word of God spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem increased rapidly, mm. and a large number of priests became obedient to the faith. Mm. Now Stephen, a man full of God's grace and power, did great wonders and miraculous signs among the people. I, I was wondering how Stephen was able to do that. Could it be, Braishno, that at a point where uh, uh, um, uh, they, are, they are coming to take their, their food, they are coming to take the food. And you realize that, oh, there is a crippled man among them. Stephen will not look, wait for Paul. He will not wait for Peter. He will just lay hands and pray for him before he takes his food. He will come and there will be a blind man among them. They will be leading him. And he will pray for him. Because see, the man, uh, Stephen, was doing great wonders among them. And he was just a dining hall prefect. He was just the one in charge of sharing food. So how was he able to do that? That's what I, I, I think that as they were coming to take their food, he realized that this man is sick and he will not allow the man to eat. He will not just allow the man to pass by. He will lay hands on the man. Pray for the man. The man, the man receives his sight and takes his food and go and eat. Full of the Holy Ghost. 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 Today, what are we full of? What are we full of? What are we full of? Believer, as you are listening to me, what are you full of? What are you full of? We have neglected this person of the Holy Spirit. We have neglected him. Jesus said about him that when he comes, he will teach you and guide you into all truth. He will guide you into all truth. We do not need Kennedy and Japan to come and tell you that this man of God is fake. If you are full of the Holy Ghost, you don't need Kennedy to be on the two to tell you that this man is, full, is fake. You don't need him because the Holy Ghost will guide you into all truth. He will guide you. He will be your guide. He will be your shepherd. He will guide you. As you are moving to this church, said, no, don't enter here. Even Paul, when he was preaching, there were places he was restrained by the Holy Spirit that do not go here, do not go there, do not go here. If you Paul preaching the salvation message, which is for all, the Holy Ghost guided him because he knew that there were places that they would not receive the word of God. He knew that there were places that they won't receive the word of God. That they won't receive the word of God. Why have we neglected this person of the Holy Ghost and we think we can actually succeed? 
Jesus Christ, the Son of God Himself, fully God, fully man, walked on the surface of this earth for 30 years without the Holy Spirit filling Him for ministry. Something happened on the day that He was about to be baptized. Um, the Lord instructed uh, uh, um, John the Baptist that uh, the one upon whom the Holy Spirit falls like a dove, that is the one. That is a different, that is a sign that you will see that this is my son. And as it happened on that day, the Holy Spirit came upon Jesus, filled Jesus up and said, the heavens responded and said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Right from there, something changed about, about Jesus. Something changed about the ministry of Jesus. If the son of God had to wait for the Holy Ghost to fill him in order to do things, uh, what about you and what about I? That we will not wait for, for the Holy Ghost to fill us? Is that what we are saying? 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 There is something definitely wrong with our Christian lives today. There is something definitely wrong with the way we do our things today. There is something definitely wrong with the way we react to the Holy Spirit today. We have neglected him. We have just laid him back. We have told him that we, are, we have sophisticated weapons now. We have sophisticated uh, gadgets in our church now. We can do church. All I need is a speaker. All I need is a good singer. All I need is a keyboard. All I need is, 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 is a good keyboardist who will just stare an atmosphere. How can you stay an atmosphere without the Holy Ghost? How can the atmosphere be stirred without the Holy Ghost? I remember in Genesis chapter 1 that when Jesus, when God was creating the earth, the earth was without form. It was void. There, there was nothing. It was empty. It was dark. But the Bible makes me understand that, that the Spirit of the Lord moved upon the surface of the waters. It was only at the movement of the Spirit of the Lord that the voice of the Lord was heard. It was only at the movement of the Holy Ghost that the voice of the Lord was heard. Ah, beloved, are you going to take that, that decision without the without the Holy Ghost moving upon you so that you will hear the voice of the Lord? What have you heard? You have only Googled. You have only Googled five, five ways to be successful in life. That is all that you know. Hey, beloved, wait. You need the Holy Ghost to move over your life. You need the Holy Ghost. You need to build your Holy Ghost Lord to hear the voice of the Lord. You hear the voice of the Lord. In Isaiah, the scripture said that you will hear a voice behind you saying this is the way walk in it this is the way walk in it it takes one who is filled with the holy ghost it takes one who has built his holy ghost lord in order to affect people people are dying men are dying by at your side they have no knowledge of the holy ghost men are dying by your side and they have no knowledge of the holy ghost we are praying we are telling god this is how we we are lifting up only one prayer we are telling god that god help us increase our lord of the holy ghost so that we can affect the world so that we can affect the if a virus is able to move from china to this part how can we not move if a virus moves from china to ghana how can we not talk about christ with our, with our neighbor, 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 with our you would increase and I will decrease. We are praying our last prayer that God enlarge our capacity Holy Spirit enlarge us Holy Ghost enlarge us increase in us in the Leba Shatar increase in us O God increase in us in the name of Jesus increase in us O God increase in us O God increase in us O God in the name of Jesus thank you Lord Father, we pray in the name of Jesus.
decrease and we will decrease lord build our holy spirit lord in the name of jesus that we will be able oh god to affect other generations and other people to the glory of your name in jesus name we pray with thanksgiving amen, amen. Just one word is all I need.